Gemini 3 reminds us with that unambiguous number one, that, that that is why we get excited about AI. You live in a world where you get a colleague that can help you in your work, who is not going to really be able to take your job well, but who can help you do a whole lot more, a whole lot faster. And that colleague keeps getting smarter all the time. It is about a colleague who keeps getting smarter all the time. And Gemini 3 reminds us with that unambiguous number one, that, that that is why we get excited about AI. That is why these days matter. What this reinforces is a set of use cases where the model needs to both see and think, see and reason. That's really exciting because the promise of these models has always been that they are multimodal, that they can take in image data, sound data, text data, and put out a variety of things, maybe code, maybe something else. Well, that's becoming more and more true. As you start to get a model that treats some of these other input modes, not just text, as native, as something that they can reason across at a high level, you get a truly multimodal experience where it feels smart all the way around and it doesn't feel like it has a weak spot. But for now, Gemini 3 is the number one model in the world. Everyone just about agrees on that. And I'd be curious to hear what you're building with it.